how do you communicate boundaries in a way that the other person is does not see it as a threat because people have traumas etc sometimes they get triggered hmm. okay so, number 1 when you're not mentally healthy don't get into any kind of relationship first fix your mental health problems hmm. okay it's okay for you to be mentally unhealthy but you're just not capable like if your leg is broken will you run in a running race yeah. no you just sit and wait for it to heal and then you'll run right so same if you're mentally unhealthy don't expect to be in a relationship why do we treat the mind like uh, like as if it can heal itself it can't it needs healing just like any other organ so get healing first so that's that's very important you know and uh, you don't have to sit and forgive somebody who's misbehaved with you because they had a mental problem they you say you're not ready for a relationship i don't hold it personally against you so uh, please deal with your mental problem first you really have this i'm telling you this as a friend you can take my advice or you can piss all over it whatever you want to do do but uh, i don't want to have anything to do with you thank you very much goodbye and you can reject them that way and that's a kind way to do it because you're expressing your vulnerability you're saying i can't handle it i can't take responsibility for it don't say you are this you are that you are that say i am this i am that i am this i am feeling this i am feeling that and that's the reason i can't do it so express what's going on with you you don't have to talk about you are this and you are that and you don't need to do that you say i can't handle this anymore even when i broke up in august what i said is i can't handle it you're fully free to do as you wish to do but i can't handle it so i am i'm not interested to handle it also so i'm leaving <laughs> then also people don't listen you know so what what we do is we protect ourselves with karma visarjana we take out the runanubandha karma and throw it out and once we take out the runanubandha and throw it out the person uh, kind of calms down and it's much easier to break up so sometimes you need to, so sometimes you know if you're rejecting someone you're basically breaking up with them i hope you know this <coughs> <laughs> many people didn't realize it even i didn't realize it for many days yeah because yeah. when i thought when I, i thought i should be able to disagree and reject somebody's ideas and then we should still have a good relationship it's not going to happen if you reject But, someone's ideas and you are not seeing their point of view and they're not seeing your point of view you've already broken up you're no longer in the same track you don't see eye to eye about things it's not possible to have friendship with people with whom you have a disagreement but this nobody tells you they continue to try with some ideal say first of all friendship is agreement let's understand this you don't want your friend to sit and disagree with you that's not why you're in a friendship okay you do want them to tell you when you're being bad and you're being stupid and like i told these guys you shouldn't smoke i am disagreeing with them but we discussed it until we came to agreement right either i would have to agree and then take a cigarette myself or they would have to agree to me and stop smoking it came to that we can't say hey i'll continue smoking and then i'll say uh, i'll i'll say no you you shouldn't smoke and then we'll be friends after that is it possible it's not possible we can't be friends after that if we don't agree on a basic thing that you know i find you valuable don't kill yourself and uh, stop smoking and then you're like but then you're not giving me a liberty to kill myself what is this if you're depressed don't be in a relationship so anyway that they, they, they got to see it and you've got to present your case in such a way that they see it right so i have researched everything about smoking i'm not just saying it i'm saying exactly this happens this happens this happens and they're seeing the symptoms in themselves yeah they're seeing the soft erections and they're thinking oh yeah it's really affecting me and then they stop you know 